Well, everyone, it's the end of an era. Studio Gainax is no more. I mean, it's been a long time coming, let's be honest. Gainax has been an empty shell for the better part of a decade now. Between almost no works being put out, getting sued by various entities, and their CEO getting arrested for indecent acts against a voice actress, it's been a rough ride. Not that they haven't had their issues in the past 30 years, but I digress. On May 29th, 2024, Gainax had their application for bankruptcy accepted by the Tokyo District Court. With the studio defunct, what happens now? Well, I'd like to go over some details about this whole debacle, mostly pertaining to Studio Kara's statement on this ordeal, along with some other added context about the various IPs they are now relinquishing. Let's get into it. Studio Kara's statement on this was posted June 7th. It detailed their side of their involvement with Gainax since Kara was formed. Hideaki Anno being a shareholder for Gainax and all. They've been aware of Gainax's mismanagement since basically the beginning, and have tried to help out not only financially, but even tried to fix their management and resolve some unpaid debts to various creators within the anime industry. This was all in vain though. The amount of debt they were in was pretty much insurmountable at this point. Not only that, with the arrest of their CEO in 2019, Hideaki Anno asked Katokawa, King Records, and Studio Trigger to help alleviate any reputational damage to Gainax's various works. And thus, on May 29th, 2024, Gainax got their final nail in the coffin. So where does that leave their trademarks and IPs? I won't go over every title, just the more notable ones. First off, for the Gainax trademark and title. Studio Kara is now managing it. This does not include other companies, such as Studio Gaina, Gainax International, Gainax West, and so on. Their various anime IPs, as noted in the Kara statement, are being redistributed to their respective creators. However, this probably doesn't matter as much as you might think. Let's start with the elephant in the room, Evangelion. Well, Hideaki Anno left Gainax in 2006 and founded Studio Kara to make the rebuild movies. Gainax did have partial rights to it until about 2014, at which point Studio Kara got 100%. Hiroyuki Maishi got both Grenlagon and Pantheon Stalking in 2023, two other big Gainax titles. Fooly Cooly was bought by Production IG back in 2015 and made Progressive, Alternative, Grunge, and Shoe Gaze in 2018 and on. Nadia and the Blue Water I'm not totally sure about. As far as I know, NHK and Toho own the rights to it and just had Gainax make it, with Hideaki Anno directing. Lastly, Gunbuster and Diebuster were transferred to Gaina, even though Hideaki Anno wanted to buy them and give them to Kazuya Suramaki to make new works for her, which would have been awesome. Gaina also announced Gunbuster 3 six years ago, so who knows when that'll happen. And so with that, Gainax as an entity is done. Looking back at their catalog, they honestly didn't have a lot of series under their belt, but what they did have was very influential stuff. Sad to see them go out like this. The end seemed real painful. Their spirit will live on in Studio Kara and Trigger though. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.